Hello everyone, this is Arohi and welcome to my channel Code with Arohi. So guys, in this video, I'll show you how to implement plant leaf disease detection using MassCAR CNN. So MassCAR CNN is an image segmentation model. So we will perform the image segmentation today on our data set. And image segmentation simply means the combination of object detection, object localization and object classification. So this is what we are going to do in our today's class. So the, the data set which I'm using for today's class is plant village data set. And this data set consists of around 54,000 images and uh, including healthy and unhealthy leaves right and then we have uh, 38 different categories in it means we have 38 different classes um, and we have 50 around 54,000 images but uh, okay guys let me show you this data set first and then we'll move further so so you can see here when you will download this data from uh, data set from internet you will get this kind of uh, zip file when you will unzip it, you will get two folders under it, train and validation. Let's open the train folder. Here you can see we have 38 different folders and every folder have the label. So that means this first folder with the name of apple scab, when you will open it, you will get all the images which belongs to apple scab class. In the same way for every folder you will have related images so folder names are the labels of the uh, images right but guys if you'll see here okay let me show you the validation folder also under validation folder also you will get 38 different folders and under every folder name so if this is a tomato related leaf uh, class so you'll get the related leaves under it so guys the data set this plant village data set is a data set which you can use for image classification right but this mask rcnn is an image segmentation model means we want to perform uh, object detection object classification and object localization that means the data set which you will download from internet this plant village data set you can't use this data as it is right why because we need annotation files right for each image if you want to perform uh, object detection or image segmentation we need annotation files for each image right but right now we are only having images and this data set is good if you want to use this data set for image classification but in our scenario we have to do we have to create the annotation files for all the images then only we can use this data set okay so now as i've told you like uh, how many images are there 54 around 54000 images are there which belongs to all these 30, uh, 38 different classes so guys so as you know this data set is a very huge data set so i'm not working on all the images and i'm not working on all the uh, you know 38 different classes i'm working on 28 classes let me show you the classes on which i'm working so these are the classes you can see under this apple uh, category we have apple black rot apple healthy apple rust and apple scab so one this apple black rot apple healthy apple rust and apple scab these are the four different classes okay which are related to apple right apple leaves so and then under blueberry category i'm working on blueberry healthy leaves and under corn category i'm working on corn common rust corn gray leaf spot and corn healthy in the same way you can see i have uh, selected these different classes on which i want to work and if you'll count all these classes so there are 28 number of classes on which i'm working okay so this is the first thing i'm doing what i'm doing i'm not using all the 38 classes i have selected 28 classes out of those 38 classes and i'm working on those 28 classes right this is the first thing now the second thing is we want to annotate the images so annotating this whole 53,000 images is a very big task so I have prepared this video just to show you the demo how you can work on this data set. So I have um, labeled 2000 images for training and around 400 images for validation. Okay. So in total, I have worked with uh, 2500 images. So all those 2500 images um, belongs to all these classes, 28 classes. Okay. 
so 2000 images for uh, i have annotated 2000 images for training the data and then we have around 400 images for validating our data okay so and uh, let me just show you what kind of output you'll get after performing this mask or cnn you can see in this picture so these are the these are few output images which you'll get after performing um mask or cnn on um, this plant village data set okay so you can see here we are getting apple scab and the probability is 91 percent in 92 percent second image gray black measles right so you can see we are getting the results over here also third image is showing us um, the leaf problem is apple rust and in fourth image fourth image again belongs to apple rust class only and the fifth image is a blueberry healthy leaf and sixth image is a corn healthy leaf so these kind of results you'll be able to achieve using this data set which i'm talking about right after annotating and training your algorithm so now the question is how to annotate your data so you can use vgg annotator tool or you can use any other tool i am using i'm working with vgg annotator tool so this is the image you can see over here so i am showing you this image just for your reference so that you will get to know like how to you know how to use uh, how to plot the defected areas of the plant uh, leaves okay so this yellow marks are the this is how i have um, you know marked these areas using a vgg annotator tool these are some of the images i'm just showing you right so guys if you don't know how to use vgg annotator tool right then what you can do is let me show you uh, just open google and write vgg annotator over here and you'll get one link the very first link open this link okay so once you open this link scroll down and you'll get this downloads under this downloads this first zip file downloaded okay and when you unzip it you'll get a html file just click on it and your vgg annotator tool will be open guys uh, in this video i'm not going to show you how to use vgg annotator tool because in my previous videos i have done few videos on mask or cnn prior to this video so you can check those videos in those videos i have explained step by step how you can annotate your own data set okay so i'm just telling you like you can use this tool um, vgg annotator now once you annotate your data set what you can do is now your data set is ready right now the next thing is just uh, go to uh, google again and write mask our cnn metaport github right so basically we are going to pick this when you'll write this you'll get one github link the very first link open this link and from this github repo you need this mrcnn folder you uh, you know uh, while writing our mask our cnn code we need few files which file all those files are present in this mrcnn folder okay so you can get these files from here all right so now our data set is ready and i have told you like you can get the code from here now let me show you the folder uh, my coding folder so this is my coding folder and you can see mrcnn folder which i have just told you to download from internet from github metaport so all those files are here right and this data set is a folder where i have my code under train i have 2000 images and the corresponding json file and under validation i have the validation images and the corresponding json file which you will get after annotating your images okay let me show you one of the file okay so this is the val folder we have 448 images in it and these are the images okay and this is the json file which is related to um, validation folder okay validation data so clear about the data set folder then we have logs folder this folder you will get under when you will open this logs folder initially your log folder will be empty because this log folder is responsible to store the trained models of when you perform the training and after training uh, after every epoch your trained models will be stored under this folder let me open it you can see i have 
hundred different files over here. The last one is the hundred. So that simply means these are the hundred different models which are created while um, training my algorithm and I have trained my algorithm for 100 epochs so that's why I have 100 files okay so this is what you'll get in logs folder after training and MRCNN is clear you have to download it from internet and then you have output folder again just create this folder and leave it empty you will use this folder while testing your algorithm okay so right now there is no need to understand what is there in this folder just create this folder and leave it blank you will get the results when you will uh, test your algorithm okay and this custom.py this is the important file and this is the file which is responsible to train your algorithm i'll show you what is there in this file and guys one more thing mask our cnn coco.hy this um, wait file this file you have to download from internet and you have to paste it in your current working directory okay and custom let me open this custom.py file and show you what is there in this file so this is my custom.py file so guys just scroll down and in this class custom config here you see I, images per GPU I have written 4 over here because this you have to change as per your resources so my GPU memory is 24 GB so I have written 4 images over here so if let's say if your GPU memory is 16 GB just go for 2 images and if it is lesser than that just go for 1 image per GPU okay this you have to change and leave the other changes like this only no need to change anything now there is another class with the name of custom data set go to this class guys and you have one function over here load custom okay under this function this is the section where you have to make the changes as per your data set so we are working on plant village data set but i'm not working on all the 38 images so we are working on 28 Im 28 different classes sorry so these are the names of those 28 classes and you have to define it like this okay once you define this over here we are uh, telling the path of our data set so training images are present in train folder and validation images are present in val folder this i've shown you right so one by one we are reading the data and no need to change anything else just come here over here this name dictionary under this name dictionary you have to define all your classes which you have your custom classes so we have 28 custom classes so i have written the detail of those 28 classes over here as you can see these are the 28 classes i am defining all those 20 classes over here and then leave the code as it is there is no need to do any changes that's it guys okay just take care of the paths okay the path which i have used over here these are the paths as per my pc you are this under this define train function just check the paths over here as per your you know uh, as per your paths right so that's it guys and okay in the starting also under root directory change the path as per your pc okay so then you have to run this code okay so guys how we run this code just write python and then uh, this the file name is custom.py python custom.py you will open the command prompt and then cd to the folder where you have your code and then just write python custom.py and training process will start and after every epoch after every epoch just check this logs folder under that log folder you will have one more folder under this folder one by one you are going to have the weights file after every epoch okay so this is how it works now let's go the test model this so we are we have trained our model and the trained models are stored in logs folder now we will use those trained model any of that trained model and we will test on the validation data okay so these are the required modules okay and again this weight path this is the variable in this variable i am you know writing logs and then i'm using this 
log file uh, the we trained weights so remember i have trained my model for 100 epoch so i'm picking that 100 uh, the last um, weight which is created by my algorithm so i'm using that weight file so using this file now i'll perform the testing okay so guys these are the few columns which are similar right these are the few things which are similar these codes we have defined in uh, while training also and we are giving the path of our data set folder and then this is our custom uh, data set function okay so the the important thing over here is we are loading the weights remember we have stored uh, we have given the path of our uh, trained weight is this weights path folder uh, sorry variable so i'm using that so we have loaded that weights now we want to perform the testing okay so for that if you want to perform the prediction on single image then you can work like this this is here in this variable define the path of the image on which you want to perform the testing and then we are reading the image and then model dot detect right so we are detecting uh, using the model and you can see the results over here so these are the detections on unseen data from uh, by our algorithm okay now guys if you want to detect the predictions if you want to perform the predictions on a folder where you have lots of images and you want to perform prediction on all the images at once so what you can do is this is the variable in this variable just give the path till that folder where you have your images and then run this code okay so when you'll run this code you will see one by one the results on all the images you can see here right so you are getting the results on the images which are present in your um, test folder where you want to perform the predictions right so guys this is how you can use mascar cnn on your custom data set right so especially today what we have started is we took the images from plant village data set which is a image classification data set and then we have annotated our data set so we have used 2000 images for training our algorithm that means i have annotated 2000 images for training and 440 images uh, i took for validation you have to annotate those for uh, 448 images also then by running custom.py you can train your algorithm and then we are using that trained weight file and we are testing it So that's it guys I hope you like my video if you like my video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching